Hello and welcome to iClone Tutorials. iClone 2 G2 Diffuse Map Editing Tutorial Creating Tattoos and Makeup for Male and Female Human Bases G2 Clone Cloth Avatars are a dual layered mesh. The outer layer provides a way to place real clothing images onto your avatar while using opacity maps to cut the cloth away, exposing the second layer. This layer carries a nude human base texture that is 100% customizable as well. Clone Cloth is the fastest and best way to create virtual clothing designs and styles for your real-time actors. However, the skin diffuse is oftentimes overlooked. This tutorial focuses on editing the skin diffuse layer in order to create virtual tattoos and makeup for both the heads and upper bodies of iClone avatars. Using digital images of both traditional and tribal tattoo designs, you will create sleeves and chest pieces along with custom facial textures. So let's go ahead and get started now. Step number one, open iClone and place two G2 clone cloth avatars in scene. You may choose to edit and customize their clothing to fit the character's personality. In this case, we are creating punk rockers. Use your external image editor to fashion clothing if you like. Only make sure to expose your avatar's bare arms so that you may place sleeve tattoos on your character. To begin, choose the male character and go to Avatar Skin Modify Scroll down and select the launch button under the diffuse portion of the menu. Step number two. You only need to be concerned with one of the four files that will now launch in your external image editor. The iClone Skin Texture Upper Diffuse. This is the file you will add digital images of a tattooed sleeve to create virtual ink for your avatar. Close the additional three files, leaving only the upper open, and then open an image of tattoo designs you've selected to place on your G2 male clone cloth character. Isolate the sleeves inside the image. Step number three, copy the sleeves over to the upper template and place them over the arm areas on the diffuse map. A tip to fill the seams and fully connect the tattoos is to use a stroke on the images of the arm. This is to ensure that the bleed area is covered. Then use an additional image to create a chest piece. Select another design and copy it over to the middle of the chest on the template. Step number four, once you're pleased with the placement of your new virtual link, then you need to save the PSD file for future use and replace the temporary iClone skin texture upper underscore diffuse double zero dot JPEG file found in the iClone temp folder. Go to file, save, select the JPEG format, and then carefully select iClone skin texture upper underscore diffuse double zero and select save and say yes to replace the file in the temporary folder. Set your quality at maximum and say OK. Step number five, return to iClone and scroll down to the bottom of the skin modify menu and locate and click on the update button. This will replace the temporary file with the newly edited version, automatically applying the tattooed sleeves to the G2 nude human base layer. Step number six, to save the new custom upper you have just created, you need to navigate to the upper body section, then choose your custom tab and click the add button from the bottom. Name your new file and prepare to repeat the process for the female avatar. Step number seven, select the female clone cloth avatar and then again click on the skin menu, go to the modify tab and once again locate and click on the launch button under the diffuse portion of the menu. Step number eight. Again, you need only to be concerned with one of the four files that will now launch into your external image editor. The iClone skin upper underscore diffuse double zero dot JPEG texture. This is the file that you will add digital images of a tattooed sleeve to create virtual tribal ink for your female avatar. Close the additional three files leaving only the upper open and then open an image of tribal tattoo designs that you've selected to place on your G2 clone cloth character. Mask out the design and prepare to copy it onto the diffuse template. Step number nine, copy the design and transform the tribal armband over all four sections of the female diffuse template. 
Another tip when creating tribal designs is to use a multiplying blend effect in your external image editor to create a more realistic tattoo. Step number 10. Use an additional image to create a tribal chest piece. Select another design and then copy it over to the middle of the chest on the template. Do this after copying the sleeves over to the female upper template and placing them over the arm areas of the diffuse map. You may want to repeat this process a few times to get the fit exact. Step number 11. Once again, when you are pleased with the design and placement of your new virtual tribal tattoos, you need to save the PSD file for future use and then also replace the temporary iClone skin texture upper underscore diffuse 00.jpg file found in the iClone temp folder. Go to File, Save, choose the JPEG format, and again carefully select the iClone skin texture upper underscore diffuse double zero file and select save. Say yes to replace the file in the temporary folder and then select OK. Step number 12. Again return to iClone and scroll down to the bottom of the skin modify menu. Locate and click the update button once again. This will replace the temporary file with a newly edited version, automatically applying the tattooed tribal sleeves to the G2 female nude human base. Step number 13. To save the new custom upper you have just created, navigate to the upper body section and then choose the custom tab and click the add button from the bottom of the menu. Name your new file and prepare to create face makeup and ink for your avatars. Step number 14. To begin editing the makeup of your female, make sure that the character is selected and go to Head, then Texture. This will launch the Adjust Facial Texture menu and the tools needed to create makeup by focusing on three main areas, the eyes, cheeks, and lips. Step number 15. Use the Zoom In tool found at the top of the preview window and get in close to edit the eye, shadow, and liner. Use the color swatch tool to choose two different tones to paint on colored eyeshadow. Start with a blue, select OK, and then click the powder puff icon to paint directly on the image. Use the opacity and brush size sliders to define the softness of the shadow and the thickness of the liner. Take the opacity down low and the brush size down relatively low, and then begin to paint on the eyeshadow. Choose your second color swatch, try a purple, and bring the opacity up a little. Brush size as well. Use the smooth tool to smooth the definition in between the two. Select a solid black color swatch with a small size brush and a high opacity to create the liner. Do this for both eyes until you are happy with the result in the 3D preview window on the left. Step number 16. Use the pick color icon from the toolbar and select a skin tone from the image. This will open the color menu. Select Define Custom Colors to open the color picker. Pick a darker tone to your selected skin tone. And then choose Add to Custom Colors to place it in your custom palette. Again, say OK and use the Powder Puff tool with a low level opacity and a large brush size to create the avatar's blush. Use the zoom out tool and focus on the cheek area. Again use the smooth tool to blend with the skin tone of the image. Do this until you're happy with the preview on the left. Step number 17. Use pick color from the toolbar and select a red. Select the color swatch and this will open the color menu. 
select a default red to use for the lipstick. Say OK and then use the powder puff tool with a mid-level opacity and the small to medium brush size to create your avatar's lipstick. Use the zoom in icon to focus in on the lips and a small to medium brush size once again to begin to paint on new lipstick. Then choose a darker tone and a smaller brush size along with a higher opacity to create lip liner. Then choose OK when finished. Name and save your file. Step number 18. To save and update the new custom makeup and texture that you've just created, you need to navigate to the Faces section and then choose the Custom tab. Click the face and click the Overwrite button from the bottom of the menu. Name your new file and prepare to repeat the process for the male avatar. Any changes that you want to make, just repeat this process and overwrite as many times as necessary. Step number 19. To edit the head texture of your male, make sure that the character is selected, then go to head and texture. This will launch the adjust facial texture menu and tools needed to create facial tattoos by painting a simple design directly in iClone. Use the color swatch to select a dark green to paint on a face tat. Click on the powder puff icon to paint directly on the image. Select the desired color and use the smallest possible brush with the highest possible opacity. Settings to create the tears. Draw the teardrops under the left eye until you're happy with the 3D preview on the left. Name and save your new file. To save and update the new custom face texture you have just created, you need to navigate to the Faces section, then choose the Custom tab, and then select the head, make whatever change is necessary, and click the Overwrite button from the bottom of the menu. Name your new file, and now you have successfully completed the tutorial. Using the Clone Cloth avatars allows users to create any garment they can imagine. However, editing the human base along with the outer clothing mesh can give your avatars that finishing touch they need to completely take on a totally distinct virtual identity. Adding the fine details such as makeup and tattoos to your characters ensures that your next real-time film will be filled with visually rich and interesting actors. All hair models and accessories can be found in the Fashion Gear Version 1 content pack. If you have any further questions, please feel free to visit www.reallusion.com or contact technical support.